Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jazani if this is your first time here. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a get ready with me. It's girls night. So I figured I would get ready with you guys on camera. So if you guys wanna just get ready with me, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, so it is girls night. Going out with a few of my friends from uh, my previous job. We pretty much, none of us worked there at this point except for one she's is on maternity leave but for the for the most part all of us don't work there anymore so we try to you know at least meet up once a month to just catch up make sure that we are you know catching up with each other's lives and all you know i'm sure you guys know but yeah so as you guys see i just got out the shower I just finished washing my hair so originally i was gonna have my hair down at coachella this weekend so i was like inspired by like the coachella fits that i've been seeing on instagram i was gonna like curl my hair and then do uh two little braids but instead i'm gonna just do a slip back bun because i decided to get up this morning and watch bad bunnies coachella set and then i watched becky g's and then i was gonna start watching burner boys but i was like i don't have time so now i have like one hour to get ready before i need to head out the house so i don't really have time to like curl my hair figure out my outfit and all that so i just uh decided to settle on doing a slick back bun so which is fine because honestly i don't really like curling my hair because during the week i just go to the gym so it's kind of like what's the point i'm wasting time and product when my hair just goes up in a ponytail or in a bun when i'm at the gym anyways so you know weeks where i know i'm going to be going to the gym the whole week i'm just like there's really no point in me even bothering to like actually curl my hair so i'm just gonna go in with my kinky curly lathe in i just like to put a little bit of something in my hair even if i put it in a slick back bun i just like to put a little bit of product I'm not really sure if it really helps with anything but just so my hair can get some sort of moisture and product what i like to do now is i split my hair down the middle so i'm just gonna go ahead and just comb my hair back so for my makeup i just plan on doing something super simple i just got a facial yesterday so i don't want to like put too much makeup on my face because i just kind of want my face to breathe but I do want to do like just a little something all right so I'll put that up and then I'm just gonna go ahead and use a bobby pin to make sure to secure that in there and then what I'm gonna do is now take my uh, curly custard also from kinky curly and I'm just gonna go ahead and use that to flatten out any little hairs that are still up and then take my brush again oh i didn't think this through i should have done my skincare first so my skincare can settle into my face wow i was doing my hair but that's all right man i hate when my bun doesn't like look perfect but that's okay all right so that is pretty much my hair complete super simple doing my hair like this is probably one of my favorite looks for you know looking put together but then also just trying to like be quick you know i just wash my hair just put it up and then it actually once i put my hair down it actually looks pretty decent i guess because the bun gives it a little bit of shape so i just got a facial yesterday and i can't use any acids on my skin and i'm not 100 percent sure if the Desi Claro Que Si serum has acids, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just use the moisturizer. So like I said, I'm just going for a very natural makeup. I don't even wanna put too much powder on my face. And then some sunscreen. So I have made the decision to buy a camera, like a vlogging camera. I'm gonna get the G Sun X because I've heard a lot of good things about it and I'm really excited about it. 
I had been like going back and forth with whether I wanted to buy it or not yesterday. And by the end of the day, I was like, I'm just gonna buy it, I'm just gonna buy it. And um, Best Buy had this like creator kit, which was like the camera, a tripod, and like an extra SD card. And so I was gonna get that and I had already established that I was gonna get it early in the morning. And then when I got back home that I had finally made the decision that I was gonna buy the camera, when I go and purchase it, it's like, oh, this item is out of stock. I was like, are you kidding me? So I tried like 15 times because when you go and you click it, it says it's available. But then when you try to check out, then it says it's out of stock. So I was like, whatever. So I called Best Buy this morning and the representative was like, yeah, it's sold out. Like they don't have it, whatever. She was like, you could check back in like a week or so and maybe they'll have it in stock again. I was like, how freaking disappointing. So I uh, was trying to contemplate whether I wanted to buy it from Canon itself, but then I was just gonna get the camera and I wasn't gonna get the tripod and all that stuff. So I was just like, it's just such a better deal to get it on Best Buy. So I actually ended up finding the deal on B&H for actually $100 cheaper than the whole kit cost on Best Buy but they i believe it's like some sort of jewish holiday so their website is down so when i come back from girls night i'm gonna like first thing i do is purchase it when it becomes available all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyebrows so i don't really do much because you know my eyebrows are very thick already so i just kind of fill in little sparse areas like right here right here i accidentally shaved too much of the inside of this eyebrow so i'm like always having to kind of fill it in but the good thing is my eyebrows certain areas like grow pretty quickly and then some areas don't like this up here i've been trying to grow this out for years and it's just like not with it i'm like okay sure sure do whatever you want. My hairs are so long, I definitely need to cut them. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set with the benefit. Setter. I'm so excited to be going out for a girls night. I feel like I haven't gone out on like a real girls night in so long. I'm excited and then tomorrow I'm gonna be hanging out with my cousin and her best friend which I'm also very excited about so I'm gonna start off with the milk hydro grip primer as you guys know this is my absolute fave primer I film on my phone so I don't actually know like what time it is or how much time I have left so I need to like not take too long because I would be the one to take forever and the reservations under my name so I definitely don't want to be late. And then for eyeshadow, I'm just going to literally go in with a little bit of the Laguna bronzer and just kind of put a little bit of that in the crease just so it looks like I have something. But I'm definitely not going to do anything crazy. And wow, the primer just sets in my face i'm just gonna go ahead and put on my mascara i'm just gonna curl my lashes then i'm going in with my l'oreal voluminous mascara so like i was saying yeah i'm really excited for my camera i made the decision to buy the camera just because i felt like it was difficult for me to be filming multiple things at one time because when I'm filming for YouTube, I can only film for YouTube because I film on my phone. And so I can't like film for YouTube and then also be filming for like TikTok or Instagram. And so I just feel like if I get a camera, I'll be able to use my camera for filming for YouTube and also taking pictures and then use my camera for, excuse me, and then use my phone for filming things like TikToks and shorts and things of that sort. So that was the main reason. And also we have a lot of trips planned for this summer, which I just really wanna make sure that I document because we're going back to, 
So the first trip that we have planned is we're going back to our wedding resort, which I'm so excited about. We're going back for our anniversary. And I like wish that I had been on this like YouTube journey back then when I was getting married. So I could have, you know, documented that whole process and all that stuff. And so now I'm just like, you know what? If we're going back, we're gonna basically be reliving those moments and I wanna make sure that I document it as best as I can. And so with the camera, and now I have no excuse. Like I have literally no excuse to not document, you know, my ex our experience there, document our one year anniversary, being married. It's just like, I'm so excited. And then we're also going to Ghana, which is gonna be the first time I've ever been to Ghana. And I'm going with my in-laws. And I'm just like, I'm just so excited. I'm literally so, so excited. It's gonna be their first time there as well. And then our husband, our husband, and then my husband's like flying us there, which is this, it's just so cool. Like it's literally, it's so cool. And you know, sometimes I just sit and think and I'm just like, wow, like I've literally been so blessed and like, it's just crazy. You know, I'm, it's literally so crazy. All right, my mascara is all done. So I'm gonna go in with my two NARS concealer. So this is Macadamia and then Tiramisu. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this. I really need to clean my brushes. So I'm not even gonna go and use my brush to blend this out. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out with my fingers just because the last few times that I've done my makeup with my brushes, I feel like the makeup hasn't been coming out that good. And I feel like it's because my brushes are dirty. And so I don't even want to deal with that. All right. And this is the tiramisu. I feel like tiramisu is literally the same exact color as macadamia. Like, do you guys notice any difference between that and what I just put on? I don't but you guys tell me. All right, and then I'm just gonna use my finger to blend that out. So we're actually also going to Chicago next weekend, which I'm so excited because I've never been to Chicago. We're gonna go visit one of our friends that lives out there. And she's been like telling us like you guys need to come out to chicago and i'm like you're right but my husband was like i'm not going to chicago until it gets warm because chicago is way too cold and i was like you know what i don't even blame you i literally don't even blame you oh my god I'm, it's so hot i'm literally sweating in this room because it's so hot outside. It's It was like 87 degrees yesterday. It's April. 87 degrees in April in New York? No. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I love, you know, the nice weather. But it's giving global warming. I mean, this whole year. I mean, technically, I guess not this whole year. But we literally didn't really have a winter. Like, it snowed one time like a heavy like not necessarily heavy but where it's stuck it's one time this whole winter which is just insane and but yet people literally want to sit here and say like the warming isn't real i'm like okay sure the warming isn't real i just feel like sometimes people just like would rather be ignorant two things or like not necessarily be ignorant like i feel like people know but they're just like it doesn't fit their agenda so you know they're just like no <laughs> what's global warming what is that and i'm like literally florida flooding that's global warming <laughs> but whatever i mean not really whatever because it's literally gonna affect us I mean, it, it's already affecting us, but it's really gonna affect us. Well, not maybe not us, but you know, kids, our kids, our grandkids, our grandkids' kids. Like, those are the generations that I'm like, we're really gonna f it for them. Excuse my language. Um. Okay. And so now, 
I'm going to go in with my Rare Beauty blush. I feel like I've been using this every time I do my makeup, I use this now. I'm like, I love this. And I put way too much, but I don't care. And I'm gonna go in with this round top blender from Luxie. It's kind of like a kabuki brush. You see, and like if I had a camera right now, I'm like jumping, but if I had a camera right now, I would be able to know what time it was. But right now, I don't know. I have no idea what time it is. Ooh, that was a, maybe I put a little bit too much blush. <laughs> but it's okay. It's gonna, you know, die down a little bit when I put my setting powder. Okay. That's the face so far. And then I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer for my bronzer. I really like this because it's like not too dark and I just don't want, like I said, I just want something super subtle. Just something to like give me a little bit of definition. And the temples. a little bit much but I'll clean that up in a second and then put some on my nose I'm like try not to talk too much because I know if I start talking then it's just gonna take me that much longer and I'm already running late going in with my one size powder gonna go ahead and blend out help out any lines that could be forming under my eyes one more time before I set it and you know what I'm going to use I'm not sure if like you're able to wash these or not but I even feel like the ones I have been using have been leaving my eyes looking very dry so I'm gonna use another one a new one so oops That looks so good compared to how my makeup has been coming out the last few days. I feel like it just looks so dry. Even though this is the main one that's been looking dry. So let's see how it looks. Mm. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. You feel such a difference like when your makeup comes out good. Because sometimes like the makeup is just not... It's just not coming out good and you're just like why i'm doing the same exact stuff but it's true what they say like your brushes being clean makes such a huge difference to your makeup coming out good and because it's so hot outside i'm just gonna make sure to set areas where i get very oily which is like right here, top of my nose, around my nose, forehead, all those areas I get very, very oily. Okay, that is that. Let me just clean this up a little bit. All right. So that is the makeup so far. And then eyebrows are looking a little, a little cray cray. All right. Okay, and now I'm gonna just go in with a little bit of blush. And for blush, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same exact brush. And I'm gonna go in with my Natasha Denona. I'm gonna use this color right here.
perfect. And then I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara for my bottom lashes. All right, just a little bit. And what else? Um, I feel like my forehead looks a little crazy. All right, right here, I feel like my bronzer came a little bit too forward. So I'm just gonna take this again and just clean it up right here. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm gonna take my brush one more time and just comb out any hairs that may have came forward while I was putting on my bronzer. Whew. All right, I'll do my lips once I have the fit. So this is the final makeup look. So I, I'm gonna accessorize once I put my put on my outfit, but let me see how I can set you guys up so you can see like my process of getting dressed. But yeah, this is basically the look. I'm super happy with how it came out. It's like very simple, natural, but cute. You know what I mean? Okay, let's get dressed now. So these are the jeans that I was thinking about wearing so they just kind of have this like line detail down the middle and then i was thinking of wearing it with this top that i got from miss lola um go check out my miss lola haul oh sh there's makeup on it <gasps> there's makeup all over it all right let me try this on and see if it even looks good because if it does then i'll try to clean it off and then put it in the dryer maybe before I have to go but I literally have to go like in like 15 minutes I need to be out the house so yeah all right so this is what I was thinking I was thinking this with sneakers but honestly I don't think I love that no sorry I have laundry in the back all right you guys I might have to just figure this out and then talk to you guys before I leave or once I get there because I'm gonna be late. I have literally 11 minutes to pick out an outfit and walk out the door. So I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. All right. All right, my love. So this was the look I ended up going with. So it's just these jeans. You've seen these before. These yellow Air Maxes, this top from Zara, and this jacket. I bought it from Forever 21. And then just these earrings that I just got from Miss Lola. Ended up going super simple because I ran out of time. I definitely shouldn't have sat around and watched those Coachella performances all day, but it's fine. I think it's cute and simple, which goes with the vibes of what our dinner date is going to be. But yeah, so I will bring you guys along with me for our dinner. And yeah, I need to run though because I'm going to miss my train. So I'll catch you guys later. Hi loves, Edit Angels Lenny here. So I just realized that I didn't actually end up recording anything when I went out to dinner with my friends. So all I got was a little short video of the restaurant that we went to. Um, but basically we just went to dinner, we had Greek food, which is really, really good. I had been to that restaurant before and the food was really good. Um, but yeah, we honestly just ate, caught up, and then all of us ended up heading home so i just didn't even think to like turn on the camera and like record like what we got or anything like that but yeah so i just wanted to pop in because i said i was going to bring you guys along and then i didn't end up bringing you guys along so i feel like i never actually ended the video out um, but as you guys can see from the background i'm currently in chicago uh like i mentioned in the video i was going to be going to chicago so i'm currently in chicago but yeah so just wanted to end out the video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment share and subscribe and i will catch you guys in my next one Mwah. bye